Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW HDR tutorial part 4. In this tutorial, the tip that I wanted to provide is deactivation of standby database in spite of running activities, in spite of activities executing in the standby database, can we deactivate the standby database? That is the question or the tip that I want to discuss. The scripts that I'm using are freely available for download. The data files are available at db2luwacademy.blogspot.in. The YouTube channel URL is youtube.com slash db2luwacademy. db2academy at gmail.com is the email. This slide talks about the problem scenario and the tip and associated with the big question. Now the problem scenario is, I want to show you like the deactivation, like demonstrate the deactivation of standby database is allowed in spite of running activities or utilities or queries, etc. So there can be various kind of activities that can be running in the standby database, sorry, uh, in the standby database. So when you can deactivate the database, so why I am discussing that is, let's consider if it is a primary database, HDR primary, or it can be a, like a non-HDR regular database, uh, the deactivation will not be allowed for such kind of databases with active client, local or remote connections. They don't even need to ex execute anything um, that live, like there, there should not be, they, they can be idle, but even if the, the connection is there, local, client, remote application got connected to either a primary or a regular database, you cannot deactivate that database. But you cannot say that, the, the, you cannot apply the same logic to a standby database, for instance, uh, assume there is a load activity or reorg uh, activity that is executing. So it has to execute from a client or local connection. Uh, hopefully it is, it should come, the battery should come, let me check. Okay, uh, so the, let's for instance consider the load or reorg activity. So when you look at this load or reorg, it will execute from a client or local connection or a remote connection, whatever it is, right? You have to get connected to the database and execute these utilities. And when these utilities are running in a primary or a regular non-HDR database, it is running by means of a external connection or a local connection. So obviously you cannot deactivate the database at that time, right? But what you cannot, but what you can do with the standby is the load or the reorg is executed, even the query is executed as a DB2 replay process. So if you see like, you know, DB2 list applications for a standby database, it is always going to be in the roll forward state and the, the only connected application is going to be like the DB2 replay process, which is like the process which does the roll forwarding activity. So the logs are going to shift from the primary to the standby. So it is going to receive the load record or the reorg record and it is going to replay that. So there is no external connection or something like that involved unless you enable read on standby, but that is a very specific thing. So we will we'll not talk about it. So, so fundamentally something is different here. Like, you know, the, the way the standby operates is kind of different. So it has the privilege or it has the advantage or the leverage to deactivate uh, because it's, it's based on the log replay. So it has that uh, advantage to deactivate. Now, why that I'm saying, right? I mean, it, it, it behaves that way. I'll show you the demo. Uh, but what I'm saying also here is standby need not be in a consistent state after activation or deactivation unless you are going to open that standby database uh, for the external connections, which you do by doing a takeover, all right? So before that, as long as it is in the life of the standby, it's, it's going to be in the roll forward state, right, ever, unless a takeover happens. So when you deactivate the database, you don't need to match the criteria that, you know, for example, even if a query is executing, right, let's say 50 log records have been shipped and I have rolled forward through those 50 log records. And if you want to deactivate, you can still deactivate. And when you again activate, it can pick up the slack. The standby can always pick up the slack from the primary where it left it off in terms of log files, log page numbers, log extend numbers like that. And it can always pick up the slack and continue from there on. You need, if you do a rollback, 
and again you will have to again sync up with the primary again it has to transfer all the uh, log files those 50 log records which is redundant right which is redundant so you don't need which is actually wastage of resources it's a redundant process uh, it is wastage of cpu wastage of io wastage of network you can call it as whatever it is it's waste of time basically okay so if you try to build the standby I don't know like 100% I cannot say for sure uh, because I need to do more test cases but at least I I did with the load and the reorg and they seem to because these two utilities are like phased activities see they have like various uh, different phases like a build phase replace phase index copy phase like that there are various phases of activities so these load utility and reorg utility when I did the test case they definitely definitely seem to support this opinion or support this idea of mine but I'm not like 100% sure whether I, I can generalize or not uh, to, to queries also right uh, and it makes sense like why not standby can always pick up the slack from the primary and by doing that we are saving time resources hard disk IO network IO so it makes sense to do even if it is not doing it I would request you know like uh, IBM to do it uh, or it may already be doing it so I'm not 100% sure so without much so this this is the tip that I want to provide so you can deactivate the standby even if there are activities running and I'm going to show you that demo okay so let us quickly uh, run through this uh, demo because I'm running of low battery okay so what is going to be there so uh, uh, nothing like during my the same last tutorial whatever you saw in the tip 3 so th the same virtual box same machines I'm using so this is going to be the standby so you can see it's in peer state it's standby okay so I'm going to do that and this is the primary it's again the same virtual machine that I used so this is the primary and uh, so what I'm going to do is quickly connect to HADR in the primary so I'm running the reorg in the primary so DB2 reorg table table name would be staff okay let me check that so DB2 list tables yeah staff so DB2 reorg table table name staff use temp space 1 okay so let it run so once it runs I can show you in the standby db2pd hyphen db hadr hyphen u hyphen reorgs r e o r g s like that see look at that the start phase has already started here okay and I can show you here also okay. su hyphen db2 inst1 db2 inst1 db2 pd hyphen db hadr hyphen orgs okay so it is in build phase it's a huge table so it's going to take a while but it is in build phase so you can see that in the primary and uh, let us go to standby you can see it is in the sort phase so what will happen is once the um, once the you okay I'll show you that once the build phase is over here and it gets into the replace phase you'll you'll find that the build phase is going to start in uh, the build phase is going to start in the standby okay so let let the build phase complete I'm just waiting for that okay it is going to take another bit of time 26 it should reach 33 27 Oh my god my battery should should not run out <laughs> uh, look at that okay okay 31 32 33 okay the replace phase has started so you will see that see here the build phase has started so what I'm going to do is now issue db2 deactivate db db name hadr you can you are in the build phase and you can deactivate the standby 
and when it starts up again it's going to pick up the slack db2 activate db db name is here so it's going to start from the build phase again okay i'll show you that to look at that right 5007 something is again going to 1000 right so it's it's redoing the build phase right that's what i wanted to show you in this tutorial you can deactivate the standby when some activity is running like rear i tried it with load and it, it works i tried it with load it works i i never tried it with some huge execution of queries like that but that's what i said and maybe i'm over generalizing but it makes but there is also some sense to it in if even if i'm over generalizing why not we can allow the deactivation of the database of the standby even if some queries or load or rear is running because it need not be a consistent database okay and um, so that's it so subscribe to my channel youtube.com db 2 uw academy see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye hope this tip was useful to you until then bye bye